First off, I'll explain how the fun fly stick works. Basically, it has a mini Van de Graaff generator inside which is used to create static electricity by separating positive and negative charges. The Van de Graaff generator has two rollers and a belt which connects them. Then there's the brush on the top and on the bottom. The belt spins between the two rollers and upon contact with the bottom roller the electrons separate and they flow onto the bottom brush which then is connected to the metal rim of the button and through the metal rim they flow to the ground through a person. This leaves the belt with a positive charge which attracts electrons at the top from the cardboard tube. The electrons then go into the belt which carries them back to the bottom where they are once again flow into the bottom brush. The unique thing about the fun fly stick is that it uses a cardboard tube as the electrode. Most Van de Graaff generators have a metal dome which, when contacted, zaps you. Now, this Van de Graaff generator has the cardboard tube which has a very high resistance and causes charges to flow very slowly. Because of this, you do not notice the charge flowing through you. Now, let's look at how the fun fly stick works with a fun fly stick toy. Right now, the toy looks very unimpressive, but when dropped onto a charged fun fly stick, it opens up and expands. This happens because the fun fly stick gives a charge. The charge is the same as the tube of the fun fly stick has, which causes it to repel. That allows me to control the toy. This charge is also seen throughout the whole toy, which causes the various parts of it to repel from each other and open up the way it does. When the toy is already floating and it comes into contact with something else, an electric discharge occurs. This causes the toy to fall and lose its shape. When it comes back into contact with the fun fly stick, it receives a charge and floats again. Here's the whole process. The charged flying toy will attract to everything in the room except the fun fly stick. The fun fly stick and the toy both have the same charge, so they repel. When something else comes into the fun fly stick toy's uh, electric field, it will become polarized and will attract the toy. The fun fly stick creates a field which goes through the middle of the tube, comes around and loops back through. This means that the strongest field is at the tip of the fun fly stick. You can feel an electrostatic field created by the fun fly stick by moving it along the palm of your hand.